Okay. Hello, welcome to my weekly Wednesday live. I'm excited to be back with you guys sharing another video. Hi, Leticia. Hi, Irene. Hello. I'm so glad so many of you are here. Hi, Linda. Thank you. Thank you, Irene. <laughs> so I have a quick, pretty simple uh, project to share with you guys today. We'll be making a card, and I thought it would be fun to make a birthday card since my birthday is this Friday. So it's really quick, really simple, um, but I think it's very pretty. So we will make the card, but first I want to announce the winner of last week's uh, Prize Patrol for sharing the video. So congratulations to Monica T. Thank you so much for sharing the video and thank you to everyone else who did as well. So Monica, I've got a little six by six sampler of the Everything is Rosy um, designer series paper. So this paper was so pretty. I just put lotion on so I'm trying not to touch it too much. Um, and then I've also got a piece of that rose gold foil in there for you so I will be sending this to you Monica and um, last week's winner Alicia your uh, giveaway goodie will be going out with Monica's as well I'll be sending them both out tomorrow so congratulations Monica thank you again for sharing the video hi Carol hi Maria thank you so don't forget if uh, you're watching live or you're watching the replay somewhere make sure that you share the video leave a comment below when you've done that and you'll be entered in for a chance to win a prize so thank you guys so so much I appreciate you all right so I think we are going to jump right in I'm gonna get you guys flipped around and we'll get started yep okay let me flip you okay got you in there flip this other light around oh let me see where did I put that stuff I was gonna show you where did I put it I think I already put it away I was gonna remind you guys of something but it looks like I've already put it away so never mind oh and thank you for the birthday wishes um, Irene thank you thank you Kelly for sharing the video Ugh, did I already put it away yeah I don't see it rats okay oh well so today we're gonna use the beautiful pressed petals designer series paper I love this paper I honestly didn't really like pay attention to it in the catalog um, and then when I was doing the paper share uh, for those of you who purchased my uh, annual catalog paper share when I was chopping this one up I was like man this is really pretty I love this paper I love the uh, colors and the floral patterns really really fun so we're gonna use um, a sheet of this today well actually just a piece from a sheet but really pretty if you haven't checked this paper out you should it's gorgeous so we're actually using this pattern today for the card yeah it's beautiful I love this paper okay so I'm gonna set that to the side and we're gonna use the perennial birthday stamp set I love this set um, I used it so much in the previous catalog and it carried over love this one so I said I want to use this one for my birthday card so that's what we're gonna be using perennial birthday and I've already got my pieces cut here so for my card base this is crumb cake and I have cut this down to eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter then I've got a piece of Rococo Rose this is four by five and a quarter inches so that's one of our new in colors very pretty color um, very vanilla which I really never use I always use whisper white but very vanilla this is three and three quarter quarters of an inch by five inches and then that pressed petals designer paper this is let me remember two inches by five and a half inches and then I cut this piece of very vanilla using the uh, layering circle dies love these these are my most used dies I believe okay so I'm gonna set that to the side and let's jump in really quick and simple card so I'm going to start first with the die cut circle and I am going to stamp that cute little flower here in Rococo Rose which is just so much fun to say <laughs> oh thank you Carol thank you okay there we go ink that up 
and I'm gonna stamp it right here. And like I said, this card is so simple, you guys. Okay, so let's try again. Take two. Okay, so before the video froze, and kicked me out, I had stamped the um, cute little flower from the perennial birthday stamp set. I had stamped that in Rococo Rose. And then I was about to stamp the happy birthday sentiment. So let's go ahead and go back to that. Um, okay, so, all right, so people are coming back. So I'm gonna stamp the happy birthday in um, Mary Merlot. So that's another coordinating color with this designer series. Oh, with this designer series paper. And I just jammed my thumb into the Mary Merlot. <laughs> Let me find my little rag here to clean that off. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've never had the video freeze before and not come back. I could not even get back in. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up this happy birthday. And. There we go. I don't know how, I think this actually might need to be re-inked, but okay, there we go. And I'm gonna stamp that in the bottom right. So I think right about here. And I'm just gonna press and hold for just a second. Ooh, that looks really good, I like that. Okay, so we'll put that away. All right, so now we can start putting this card together. Now I shared the measurements in part one of this video before it froze, but I'm gonna go ahead and share them again. Um, so crumb cake card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter inches. Fold that over, crease it. Then um, Rococo Rose, one of our new in colors. So this is the card stock. This is cut four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this is going to go right here. And I don't have any uh, snail handy, so I'm using the old um, fast fuse. Thank you, Stacy. So I'm just going to put this, center that up. I really love the colors in that um, pressed petals designer series paper. It's gorgeous, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. And then I'll put the um, happy birthday layer here in the center of our Rococo. So we'll just put that right about there. I'm loving this. Love, love, love this already. Okay, then we'll put the designer paper on. Now this is going to stretch all the way across. Let me just... Get that off. This is going to stretch all the way across um, the front of the card. So, okay, so right there. And then dimensionals on here. I'm just going to put three onto the back of our little stamped flower. And I want it going this way. And I'll just pop this Yeah, right there. Oh, I love it. So cute. And then I was thinking I would add some of the uh, in color faceted dots, the Rococo Rose colors. So let's see. I was gonna do, well, just gonna do one of the large ones. Maybe right. Maybe a large one there. Then a medium one there. And then the smallest one over here. Okay, so I think that's it. That's the card. I really like it. I think it's cute. Oh, you know what? Let me get an envelope. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and stamp an envelope too. I've got some very vanilla envelopes here. Might as well do that while I've got everything out. that flower up again. I'll stamp it the same direction. Put it there in the Rococo Rose. And there we go. 
There's the card. I like it. I think it's really pretty. I love these colors together. You can see those pretty little faceted dots. I love it. Perfect, quick little card, and it really showcases that designer paper. Love it. All right, so that's it, you guys. Thanks for popping back after we lost connection there. So I hope you like this card. I think it's super sweet. Love, love, love these colors together. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. Oh, I see lots of people popping in. Okay, let me flip you guys around. All right, um, I hope that you enjoyed that card. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, sorry about the, uh, the bad connection and having to restart the video, but hopefully everyone's able to catch part two. Thank you. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. Thank you, Stacy.